What is up guys? This is Negoa from the TNT Anunnaki modded survival. Um, you might know me from this channel, the Nagel Plays channel, from Nagel Plays The Sims or Nerdy Negoa. Or this might be your first video by me. So, um, hi. <laughs> I thought I would help clear up some confusion concerning the steampunk mod for ARC. So, first thing that you're going to need, and that everyone knows that they need, is the steam workstation. Now, the steam workstation requires smelted copper and glass panels. So, the first question is, how do I make the copper panel and glass, or the copper and the glass panels? So, you need this, a metal blast forge. And to make that, you need two refining forges, 250 raw metal, 150 cementing paste, 50 silica pearls, and 40 polymer. And that makes it so you can make this metal blast forge. And in this blast forge you can make coal, which one wood equals um, one coal, I believe. Um, you can make the glass panels, uh, which require five crystal per piece. And you can make this smelted copper. And the smelted copper requires coal pieces. Uh, as well as metal and stone, so that's why you have this coal over here. Um, and you can make rough diamonds, and which I haven't gotten into that yet. Um, and you can craft metal ingots. It's kind of slow making the copper, but once you get your copper pieces, um, you can make your workstation. So when you go into this workstation and you look at how to build these things, they require copper plates and a lot of people were confused about how to make these copper plates so what you do is yeah there's the person that I play with you have to make this copper industrial forge um, and in order to make the copper industrial forge I believe it has to be made in the workstation Why am I looking over here? Because I'm derping. This copper industrial forge. 500 metal ingots, 200 smelted copper, 300 cementing, cementing paste, and 250 oil. Um, some of these recipes can get quite expensive, but if you're playing with this, uh, you're probably on a server that is um, has higher collection rates. So once you make this industrial forge you can make these copper plates um, you can also use this industrial forge to make more smelted copper uh, glass panels and coal so this actually crafts um, the smelted copper uh, at a quicker rate and you can also do two at a time instead of just the one so that's how you get these copper plates that you need for crafting any of these building um, any of these building materials for um, for the steampunk mod. Some of these, like the copper glass wall, they are going to require copper plates and glass panels. Um, and and they're all some of them have different statistics and and what's necessary to build them but um the industrial forge is what you need to copper industrial forge is what you need to make the copper plates that you need for building um now if you want to build some of the items that require, or some of the items that um, are lights, if you want to make um, some of the lamp posts, or I will show you up here. This is closed off because it's not finished yet. Um, but if you want like these walls, you're going to have to craft one of these. It is an electric steam workstation and it requires oil and you turn it on 
And so that's the light up wall and the light foundation. Um, you can make a, like a billboard. Uh, the lighting, like um, wall lights and standing lights and just some electrical things. So that's what you need in order to do that. Now make sure um, in order to do all this, you need to go in to your Ingrams and learn these Ingrams. I know some mods have like blueprints in their workstations or in their forges, but you have to learn it in order to see it in your um, in your workstation. Um, like the Metal Blast Forge. The Metal Blast Forge has all these Ingrams preloaded, but the electric steam workstation, I had to learn these from my Ingrams. So, um, I hope that helps you guys. I hope that makes it a little bit easier on the modder. Um, this stuff is really cool. This mod is really great. Um, so, if this helped you at all, please leave a like. Um, check out the mod on in the ARC workshop. And, yeah. Show your love. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Did you like this video? Please leave a like down below. If you want to see more like it, follow the link here or subscribe for more videos. If you want to see some of the other stuff I do, check out my other channels also linked below. Thank you so much for watching.